Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the English news from Djibouti Channel. Here are the top stories for our t uh, editions tonight. The head of state the, uh, the 11th Council of Ministers today. Last night was the burial at the cemetery of Pika 12, the, 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 the deceased artist Aden uh, Almi. On uh, international opening of the uh, 73 uh, General Assembly of the United Nations. That were our top story. Uh, welcome if you join us uh, to uh, Djibouti channel under the chairmanship of the head of state, uh, Mr. Ismail Margheli. Uh, the government held today the 11th meeting of the Council of Ministers where several points were discussed. The uh, spokesperson of the interim government uh, summarized the first part of this meeting. The 12 Ministers' Council meeting has been held under the chairmanship of the Head of State, His Excellency Ismail Mergele, this morning, and six questions were on the agenda. At the very beginning of the meeting, the Prime Minister gave an account of his tour to Al Sabih and the Hill region. He emphasized the deconcentrated race services, the water supply of rural school, the plantings of trees on Ali Sabih region has been suggested by the President of the Republic. The first question related to a bill the first question is related to a bill for the creation of a national statistical institute. It is now essential that the Directorate of Statistic and Population Studies evolve into an autonomous public institution in order to align and adapt to the need of the statistical production. Thus the Republic of Djibouti will acquire a national institute of statistic whose legal and ad administrative form and attribution ensuring independence in the statistical production and in the management but also the mobilizations of the adequate resources for the regularity of this production will see the light soon. The second question was about a bill to ratify the loan agreement with the International Development Association on the financing of the project, support of support to entrepreneurships of women and youth presented by the ministers of economy and finance mr elias musa the the 50 million loan the 50 million us dollar loan was signed on july the 15 2018 the women and youth entrepreneurship support project will be implemented by the center for leadership and entrepreneurship under the authority of the economy and finance minister and a project management unit which will ensure the role of coordination and supervision but also control of the, of the execution of this project will be implemented. The third question is a draft decree establishing, allocating, organizing and operating the financial application center presented by the budget minister. Indeed, the capacity buildings of the administrative staff was issued through partnership with international institutions and friendly countries. Even today, although having a public administration national institute and a university, the training of the personnel of the financial administrations in foreign school still continue. In these circumstances, the establishment of an instrument to provide international level training in our country has become a necessity. Now let's hear uh, the second part of the speech uh, the, uh, by uh, the Minister of Justice, the spokesman of the interim government. The fourth question is a draft order for the allocations of a parcel of land for the benefit of the National Agency for Persons with Special Needs. This parcel of land of 9.3 hectare located in the south of Bilbala is intended for the establishment of a complex for people with special needs. The fifth question is related to a draft decree on the national printing press. The exclusive the exclusivity for the state printing order, public establishment and state company, the mission of the national printing 
works is to ensure the production, printing, and sales of printer's matter, printed matter, publication, and official documents emanating from the public service. In addition, the printing industry has experienced a new era with the installations of new equipment with a more efficient production capacity. The sixth question is a draft decree from the Secretary of State for Youth and Sport establishing the Dekaito Ryu discipline as a national sport. And finally, the Energy Minister Mr. Yonis Ali Gedi reported on his participation in a workshop on energy prospect for East African countries in Nairobi. And the Ministry of Housing Mr. Musa Mohammed Ahmed reported on his participation to the seven extraordinary session of the Environment Conference which has been held in Nairobi on the 19th of September 2018. Last night, Puriel at the cemetery of Pika uh, 12, the diseases artist Adan uh, Almi was no Qur uh, Yare. Uh, the Puriel began when uh, the, uh, when it arrived in the international airport of Djibouti uh, from Addis Ababa, the capital of uh, Ethiopia, where uh, the late died. Uh, many uh, members of government took part in the Puriel ceremony, uh, which uh, happened in the Pika uh, 12, as well as uh, many of uh, the populations and responsible as well as uh, many artists who came to uh, talk part at the events after a prayer uh, the late were was prayer prayer at the uh, Bika in the Bika uh, 12 the artist was uh, the late was an artist and famous artist and co-author of uh, many uh, songs as well as uh, many uh, theater who became uh, the famous especially uh, they took a part for our independence The President of the National Assembly, uh, Mohammed Ali Hamed, uh, yesterday received a courtesy call on the many ambassador of the People's Republic of China accredited to Djibouti, Mr. Uh, Ziu. Uh, the meeting was held in the Parliamentarian Salon of Honor in the presence of the third the Secretary of uh, the Chinese Embassy and the cabinet director of the president of the assembly Idris Mohammed Ahmed the two personality review the state of bilateral relationship between Djibouti and China as well as way and means to straighten them discussions also focused on cooperation between the national assembly and the assembly of the people's republic of China ambassador Tio thanked the president uh, the president of assembly Mohammed Ali Hamad for the uh, picket of honor that was received uh, for him. He then praised the uh, contributions of the government and the Djiboutian parliamentarians in the implementations of its policy of promoting and improving cooperation with China on all economic, commercial, as well as cultural and other levels. General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, Chief of the General Staff of the Army Forces, uh, received in his office this morning Lisa uh, Filipetu, Under Secretary General of the United Nations Support Office in Somalia. The meeting was attended by senior officer and senior military officers. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Filipetu, an Australian national, uh, was appointed Under Secretary General of the United Nations Support Office in Somalia on February 8 by the new Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres. Expert in international relations, uh, Mrs. Lisa has worked for her country for a long time before joining the United Nations. He represented her country as ambassador to Djibouti and Ethiopia uh, from uh, 2010 to th until uh, 2014. She also in charge of her country's relations with the African Union and IGAD, the Intergovernmental Authority of the Development. His rich professional career and 30 year of experience in, Autor in Australia's Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade have earned him
name her uh, the uh, prestigious uh, post of Under Secretary General of the United Nations Support Office in Somalia. General Zikriya Sheikh Ibrahim said he was honored to receive today uh, today her uh, is staff Mrs. Uh, Lisa uh, Philippe Tuhe of the United Nations Support Office in Somalia. During uh, the meeting, uh, the Mayor Mohammed Qiyad Gile, head of the logistic div divisions, who gave a brief presentation on our troops de deployed in Somalia, where since uh, 2011, uh, 2,000 uh, Djiboutian soldiers are engaged in the process of pacification of Somalia under the banner of AMISOM, the United Nations missions in Somalia. The National Committee to clarify the Islamic law or Sharia on financial transactions made lawful in uh, Islam today organized an information and awareness meeting. This uh, meeting took place in the, co in the conference room of the Central ba Bank. The governor of the Central Bank, Ahmed Osman Ali, and the chairman of the National go Committee to clarify Islamic laws, uh, Sheikh Ibrahim Ibad, led the discussions during this meeting. Bank employees uh, took advantage of this meeting as well as students from the Banking Professional Training Center. During the meeting to point uh, where discussed Islamic finance uh, with all its concepts and, theo and theories and well as uh, the Sharia and declarations. A military delegation led by uh, the colonel uh, Perrin, expert uh, ca cartographer of the former professional of France on the African continent, was received by the director of the military academy uh, of Arta, uh, Colonel Mohammed Ali Absiye. Uh, the uh, lieutenant uh, colonel is currently in the services of the Corporation Security and Defense Department of the French Minister of Reiner Affair. The visit aimed to reinforce the corporations between the two armies and to stir up the new programs and mutual aid international uh, military cooperation with France and Morocco in particular, provide technical assistance to enable AMIA uh, to deliver quality military training. It uh, reminds that AMIA's main mission is to train officers for the Djiboutian Armed Forces, the National Gendarmerie and the Republican Guard. In 10 years of existence, AMIA uh, has trained more than 180 officers. They are currently in service in these three institutions. Some are deployed within AMISOM. And on continental news, opening of the uh, 73rd General Assembly of the United Nations for more details, let's follow the report of India. President John Nicole Jenko, first Vice President France Timmermans and High Representative Vice President Federica Mukherini will, together with European Council, President Donald Trump, has attended today the opening of the 78th UN General Assembly in New York. In the sidelines, President Jenko, accompanied by Commissioner Hain, will also hold a bilateral meeting with the Prime Minister of Georgia. Mamouka Ambakadaze. Yesterday, President Jankar at the Nelson Mandela Peace Summit at the United Nations headquarters paid tribute to Madiba and highlighted the importance of a true partnership with Africa as outlined also during his 2018 State of the Union speech. The summit was called on the occasion of the centenary of Mandela's period to reflect on the global peace, with political leaders committing to redouble the effort to build a just, peaceful, prosperous, inclusive, and fair world. Here we arrive at the end of this news edition. Thank you for watching us. Goodbye.